My dear, I think you did fabulously well. No one would ever suspect where you came from. Except, of course, when you thought that entire ski outfit was uh, $250. <laughs> it's lucky the sales lady had a sense of humor. Hi, Adrian. Mrs. Devereaux. Hi, Tony. What can I do for you this afternoon? Well, I think tea for two would take the chill off the afternoon, don't you? Mm -hmm. One tea for two coming right up. Adrian, it's good to see you again around these parts. How was the wedding? Oh, it was wonderful. Thank you, Tony. Too bad the honeymoon didn't turn out as well. I understand you had to cut it short. Yeah, yeah, Justin was called back early on family business. That must have been a relief to you. I mean, after all that dreadful business with your father, you must have been terrified about your wedding fate. Angelica, knock it off. Adrian, I'm just concerned. No, you're not. You're just trying to upset me, just like you always do. But I'll tell you something, Angelica, it's not going to work this time. And it's never going to work ever again. Our wedding night was as wonderful as our wedding. And our marriage is going to be just as wonderful as that. We love each other. And we're happy. And there's nothing that you can ever do or say that could ever change that. Excuse me. Adrian? Yes? Hi, I'm Joan. I'm a friend of your brother's. Oh, yes, of course. Joan, how are you doing? I'm fine. I almost didn't recognize you for a minute there. <laughs> <laughs> they used to say that to Eliza Doolittle, and then she opened up her mouth. What? Joan, this is Angelica Devereaux, Senator Stavro's wife. Yeah, I know. I remember from the demonstration down at the pier. Oh. Would you like to join us for lunch, Joan? Thanks, but I've got to go to the meeting at the emergency center. What meeting? Didn't you hear? Somebody's trying to buy the property and turn it into something else. Yeah, yeah, I heard, but I don't think it's going to happen. Dr. Horton told me that they, they turned down that offer. Yeah, but all of the people in the neighborhood are still worried. What if somebody makes the hospital an offer that they can't refuse? <sighs> what are they going to do, put a horse's head in someone's bed? What? Just kidding. Anyway, if the hospital sells the emergency center, a lot of us won't have any place to go. Most hospitals don't take people without insurance. Joan, I really don't think you have anything to worry about. I should have known you'd feel this way. What do you mean? Now that you're married to some fancy pants, I, why should you care what happens No, wait, just a minute. <laughs> Excuse me. Just because I'm married to Justin doesn't mean that I'm a different person. Of course I still care about the old neighborhood, and I'll do anything I can to help. Then you come with me tonight down to the meeting? Yes, all right, I will, I will. Angelica, I hope you're not thinking that I'm rude, but I've really got to go. There are more important things than having tea with you, you know what I mean? I forgot to ask, Mrs. Devereaux, did you want one lump or two? Thank you, Tony. I think I've had all the lumps I need for one day.